Taurus, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be your bonus reading. We're going to pull some cards and see what messages the universe has for you. Um, when I was pre-shuffling for you guys, I kept hearing Mariah Carey, We Belong Together. So I feel like someone is extremely sad that you guys are not talking right now or that the connection has ended. So let's see where this goes. Spirit, what messages do you have? All right, so we have Solitude. I'm taking a break from everyone and spending time alone. We have guarded, resisting connection. Their guard is up, trying not to fall in love. So what messages do we have? We also have divorce. I'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you. Someone is wanting to come back to um, a connection that you guys once had. Um, I feel like this person thinks about you a lot, Taurus. They may not want you to know this. This is someone who sits in their pride and their ego. And this is the only reason why this person hasn't reached out to you. But someone is thinking about you constantly. We have Verge. I'm about to confess my true feelings. Please be willing to listen. Yeah, this is someone that's holding back. And they're trying to decide when they're coming towards you. Not if, but when. We also have worried. I'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us. So this person took their time. Um, they may have tried to wait for you to come towards them. And because you didn't, they don't want to miss the chance of um, losing you and never being able to be back with you again. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? This person feels like you're angry with them. We have resentment, invalidated, mistreated, being triggered. Yeah, this person know they did something to you and they're wondering if you're going to ever forgive them or will they be able to um, make this up to you in some way? I feel like someone is fearing rejection when it comes to you. They don't want you to say no or turn them down. They don't want you to tell them that you're with someone else. We have habitual liar, constantly lying, can't hide in lies anymore, lies expose. We also have divorce and alimony. So some of you may be dealing with someone who's married, who's thinking about walking away from their person, but they're seeing it as terminated a marriage, separation will be costly. Um, they're in a complicated relationship, but they feel like they're going to deal with a lot of drama and tower moments when and if they walk away from this person. But I feel like they're definitely thinking about it. Yeah, this person feels helpless. We have helpless and undecided. Honestly, I don't know what I want. Not sure if I want a relationship. And then we have, I feel trapped by my circumstances. There's nothing I can do. So this person feels like they're in a loveless marriage or connection. They want to come towards you because you gave them a lot of love, attention, and affection. But they know in order to come towards you, Taurus, and have um, something with you, they have to make a choice between you and someone else. Spirit, what messages? What messages do you have for Taurus for this bonus reading? We have out in the cold, feeling rejected, isolation, loneliness, and scarcity mindset. This person is thinking that you left them out in the cold. You know what I'm picking up on? I'm picking up the energy, Taurus, that someone walked away from you. And because you didn't chase this person, now they have an attitude and they feel like you're leaving them out in the cold. And I feel like that's because they're used to you chasing them. They're used to you figuring out things in this connection. They're used to you holding this connection together. I feel like you were the glue for this relationship. And this person didn't expect for you to walk away or they didn't expect for you to let them walk away. Yeah, someone is coming towards you with a love offer. Be patient. It's coming. It's coming. We have sincere offer of love, romantic gift, expression of love. Someone can't get you off their mind. It's just that they keep thinking about you repeatedly. They could even be daydreaming. We have can't move on. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. So they've actually tried to walk away from this. I feel like this person may have even had other connections and sort of was looking for you and other people. Spirit, what messages do you have? All right, so we have choices. Trying to make the right choice so I don't have regrets tomorrow. 
We also have true love. So this is how this person sees you, Taurus. They see you as their true love. I feel like they've never met anyone like you before. Whatever you brought to this connection, they've never experienced it with anyone else. And they're trying to find it now that you guys are separated or not talking, but they can't. They can't find you in anyone else. And so I feel like this person is finally realizing that you guys are meant to be together and they may have screwed up this connection and they want it back. We have experience and wholeness, unconditional love, long lasting bond. So this person feels like you guys belong together. I feel like you've already, you already knew this and you wanted this person to realize this a long time ago and they didn't. Well, now they're realizing it, Taurus. We also have rushing in. I can't wait any longer. I'm making a move. So expect for, expect for this person to come towards you. Expect to hear something from them. Spirit, what messages do we have? Yeah, it is going to be risky for them. They already know. They It's like doing this, they're going to be taking a risk. I feel like your person is being watched by someone. Um, also, someone may have caught them doing something. They may have sell something on their phone. Or um, it's like they may have, like, you know, like if they were using the computer and then they got up and turned it off but didn't sign out of Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, I feel like their person, like, logged right in and caught something or saw something. We have taking a risk, laying cards on the table, journey into the unknown. I'm also picking up the energy that someone found out about you and this person's connection. And now they know who you are and they could be jealous. Maybe they feel like you look better, you have more than them. And so they may be trying to keep this person away from you. And we have online dating. Met online, have an online dating profile, suspicious online activity. Some of you, this person lives at a distance. And I feel like you've been dating this person online. Um, for quite some time. Some of you may be on Plenty of Fish, the dating app, and you met this person and you're just waiting for things to unfold, but you're getting tired of waiting. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? So we have children, children involved, using child as a pawn, staying for the kids. I feel like this is the only reason why the person that you're with stays in that other connection because there's children and they feel bad leaving the children. We also have money is tight. So they may not have the finances right now to walk away from this other person. But if they did, trust me, they would and they would come straight towards you. We have money problems, not enough money, careful about expenditure. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know about their person? We have separation. We also have unsent messages and pretending. Withdrawal, disconnect, test of love, relationship breakdown. And then we also have, I've written you several texts, but in the end, I chicken out. And I'm pretending to be happy and that all is fine, but I'm miserable. Yeah, they're miserable with this other person because this other person doesn't love them like you do. There's something about you that they miss and that they love. I feel like this person just, you know, they're realizing like, I can't find Taurus in anyone else. So this must mean we're meant to be together. This person is also worried because you're not speaking to them. You're not saying anything. You're not texting them. You're not reaching out to them in any type of way. And they know this is unlike you. All right, so let's get a couple more and then we're going to jump into the tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know about their person for this bonus reading? Yeah, you set some boundaries exactly. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying. This is what happened here. You're setting boundaries with this person, Taurus. You're not playing games anymore. We have no more enabling, feeling you, setting healthy boundaries, and first love. This is how they're feeling about you. No one compares to you. Their first true love, new love experiences. They're trying to find these new love experiences and they're trying to find you and other people and it's not working. So now this person is missing you like hell and they want you back. They see you as their soulmate. You are my soulmate, a dream come true. We also have trapped, so they could be trapped in this other situation with this person that they're either married to or committed to. I feel like for some of you, they're still dealing with a baby mom, okay, and there's a lot of broken promises when it comes to this person. We have misled, trust is broken, unreliable. We also have you confuse me, you give me mixed signals. 
This person may also have PTSD and you see this person as a liar, okay? But they're gonna try to reconcile with you. We have reconciliation, want to work things out, they will return, there's unfinished business. So let's jump into the tarot and let's see what else the universe has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Oh, that card just flipped right out of the deck. Exactly, page of wands. Good news coming in, messages. I'm telling you, this person's going to reach out to you. Just relax, sit tight, okay, because it's coming. We have messages, new enthusiasm, new passion. Yeah, this person is realizing that you're it for them. Spare, what messages do you have for Taurus? Maybe you could be dealing with a younger fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And if this person is not younger and they're a fire sign, it could just be that this person is very immature when it comes to their emotions and they don't like to speak up um, about them or they don't like to tell you what they're feeling deep down inside. We have the hangman, um, Pisces energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. We have transition waiting contemplation this person knows that at some point they're going to surrender and come towards you but they are trying to hold back they're trying to look at this situation from every angle to make sure they're making the right decision taurus so what messages do you have for taurus All right, so we have you pulling your card here, Taurus, with the higher scent. Someone is coming towards you um, wanting a commitment. We have higher teachings, values, and beliefs, inner truth, and tradition. This person is all about tradition. They believe in, like, family, marriage, and, you know, settling down with the right person. And I feel like they may have thought they were with the right person before, and then here you come, and now they know they have the right person. But what do they do? about that other situation we have the five of wands there's a lot of conflict here we have conflict competition tension arguments i feel like they argue with this person a lot it's like they don't really see eye to eye with them they could even be dealing with the karmic i'm picking up the energy of someone wishing they had met you sooner before they married this person or settled down with them in some kind of way this card just flew right out of the deck i didn't even get a chance to shuffle we have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. This person wants to come towards you with an equal give and take. It could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this person is very burdened. I feel like they do have a lot that they're dealing with, Taurus. This person is burned out, but they want you. They're stressed out, but they still want to come towards you. This is not going to keep them from coming towards you. With all the stress that they have and the responsibilities, they're still going to come towards you. Because you're who they want. They, they can't see themselves um, having a life without you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? So we have the Six of Cups, Reconciliation. This person, you've known them for quite some time. We have nostalgia, the past returns, past influences. You could have grow, grown up with this person. Um, grown up. You could have grew up with this person. Sorry, Taurus. Um, maybe you went to school with them. You guys may have lived in the same neighborhood. You went to college together or something like that. We have the four swords and the tower. So whatever it is that you guys are going through, you're going to heal. Okay, both of you are going to heal from the situation and come back together. This person is overwhelmed about coming towards you. I don't know what this person did to you, but whatever they did to you, they're sorry. It's like they feel like they're in a tower moment right now. We have upheaval, sudden changes, chaos, awakening. Yeah, this person has um, sort of realized a lot here about you, the connection. They're sorry for like letting this go. Or treating you the way they did. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. I'm picking up heavy Gemini for some of you. And um, Scorpio energy here as well with the tower. Spare, what messages do you have for Taurus? Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. You have the King of Pentacles and the Hermit. And this person keeps pulling away from you. And you keep giving this person chance after chance after chance. And I feel like they pulled away for the last time and you let them. And you're like, I'm not dealing with this. You pull away, stay away. 
So we have someone who likes a lot of power with the King of Pentacles, someone who likes stability, um, tradition. This person is very disciplined. They may have a business. They could be a business owner or they're thinking about opening up a business here. Or it's like money, their finances is at the forefront um, of their life. But they're doing a lot of soul searching now. This person is trying to figure out their life. They have withdrawn from you, but it's not because they don't love you. Trust me. Trust me, it's not because this person doesn't love you. Because every card that has come out here, um, even in the Oracle deck, has said that this person is loving you, missing you, wanting to be with you. But they know they have some issues that need to be dealt with, Taurus. And I feel like you may have even tried to help this person. You may have loved them like to the best of your ability and it still wasn't enough. And so you just decided to pull back from them. Yeah, for some of you, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly a Sagittarius. Yeah, this person is coming towards you with a lot of passion. Um, I feel like for some of you, this person, like, they love the sex with you. Maybe you're like, you guys are very passionate together. They feel like you give them a lot of affection and they don't get that from this other person. Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius with the Queen of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups. Regret, grief, guilt, loss, <laughs> despair, heartbreak. Yeah, this person is feeling it. They're feeling it. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, they could be staying with someone because of what this person has, what this person can do for them with that Ten of Pentacles. But they're not happy there. They could be staying because it's convenient, because there's history with this person. This person may provide them stability and security, but the love is not there. And that's what this person is missing, Taurus. They're missing the love that you used to give them. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Let's get a couple more. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, some of you are dealing with a Leo. Hands down, you're dealing with the Leo. We have the Sun, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles, and this person is coming toward you. They're wanting to offer you something. They want a brand new beginning, a fresh new start with you. They know what they need to do now. They see that their happiness is with you. I didn't even get to shuffle. <laughs> These cards are coming out the deck. All right. So we have the Four of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. This person feels like they're going to have a missed opportunity if they don't make this right with you. They're bored with their other situation. They don't see anything with you. They don't see anything but you. They don't want to be with anyone but um, but you. It's like this person's like, I don't want to be with anyone. I don't want to like love anyone else. We have suffering worry lack of sleep anxiety negativity this person like they feel like you're not going to take them back or they don't want to be so whoever this is they don't want to be friends they did want to be friends before i feel like or they weren't appreciating what you were bringing to the table but we have breakthrough truth and victory mental clarity yeah they're they realize something here and this person's going to be communicating um something to you with the ace of swords energy could be a um there's a lot of air right here so it could be an air sign libra gemini or an aquarius or a water sign cancer pisces um scorpio spirit what messages give me one more card what messages do you have for cards give me one more up oh, spirit said two so we have the high priestess and the eight of swords this person's hiding their feelings big time but they're about to express themselves because they can't take it anymore they feel trapped and isolated, self-imposed restrictions. They feel helpless. They have a lot of negative thoughts, but I feel like it's not about you. They have negative thoughts about this other situation that they're in. They're like, how am I going to get out of this to come towards Taurus? How am I going to make this work? How am I going to do this? It's like they want to walk away from this person, but they may not feel like they're able to do it right now because of their finances, because children are involved. They know if they divorce this person, it's going to be costly. They may leave with no money. Um, I just feel like this person that they're dealing with is going to make, make it like hell for them, and they know it. 
So those are the messages that I have for your bonus reading, Taurus. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.